In 2009, I walked out of King's College Hospital, having just survived a life-threatening pituitary tumour. I vowed to myself that I would spend the rest of my life with purpose, challenging myself and also making a difference to those around me. The little bugger then decided to return in August of this year, but I wasn't going to let it stop me. Solo rowing the Atlantic in a world record attempt to be the fastest woman is not only challenging myself, but hopefully is showing other people that anything can be achieved if we want it enough. So yeah, I think that might explain it all. It's the first time I've been out since my operation. I learnt over the years that worrying is a waste of time. Oh my God. I'm feeling a bit sick and a bit drowsy and miserable. And obviously I need to sleep at some point. This rowing, I've lost my appetite generally. It's not happening. This is all going on. It's ramping up. We're on the home straight now. My health, I think, is going in the right direction. Breakfast on board. Overcome those challenges. A little bit more resilience. So I've actually ended up doing 52k on my first stint. Serious decisions to make. Oh, it's very complicated. Going to Buckingham Palace. I'm talking in front of all of these people. It's not about having lots of money to do things, it's not about having lots of skills and it's not about knowing loads of people and if we put our minds to it, if we're positive, I'm going to do it. <laughs>